Hello, Internet Sister Root. <coughs> I managed to snag the network card I needed to get in order to replace the onboard Ethernet. So, here it is. That's what I have to get. So, the other thing is I have to put the camera in monotrome because I kept flickering like mad. I don't know why. But, it was flickering and flickering and flickering and I couldn't see shit. And it was causing problems. And for those that got epilepsy, that would not have been a nice thing. It would have been terrible. So I had to rectify it and put this in monotrome. So once I get the wireless sorry, the wired LAN card the LAN card upgraded, that put in, I'm going to disable the onboard through the setup utility and that'd be all because Asus is such an idiot for routing it through USB it's literally a USB LAN card so once this is in it will not be a USB LAN card no more and it won't disconnect every 20 seconds is what it was doing on occasion. The only way to solve it, turn it off, and from Linux, literally turn it off, disconnects it virtually, and reboot the computer. That solved it. But it could happen again, and again, and again. Something I don't want to deal with. Especially uploading videos that are very big in size. I'm talking gigabytes. Because I would hate to start over again and again. Which, yes, start the upload, not the video, again and again. Because it is very infuriating and irritating. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, that's the upgrade. It was well worth the money. It was the lowest cost. 10 gigabit. Yeah, 10 gigabit card I could find. The others were around a thousand dollars or upwards or upwards of close to a thousand. I was not about to pay that. I checked it out. It actually is genuine. It's good for a home network, not for a server class. Because it probably sucks if it was a server class. But anyways, that will set me for the future. Considering this thing's on board is a measly two point five gigabits. And, you know, as speeds get higher and prices go lower, I'm going to be up changing my package to reflect that. So, that will be fucking nice. Wouldn't it be great to upload a 256, a quarter gigabyte file, sorry, a quarter terabyte in roughly half an hour? That would be beautiful or less 15 minutes that's the whole point but I'm not changing my package right away I'm just getting things ready in terms of the future you know future proofing this machine is already future proofed unless the motherboard croaks on it and goes fuck itself which it already has to a point but if I gotta return it you know get a warranty swap that doesn't do fuck all well there really isn't much I can do spend another two at the point five grand on another machine that's not that motherboard I don't know Oasis or another manager manufacturer make a raising capable a rising capable Ryzen 9 capable board that can take up to 128 gigabytes or possibly more or will I have to buy a Threadripper board, server board, you know, EATX, and go with uh, a Threadripper? Maybe. Maybe. I may have to. I may have no other choice but to do that. Order the parts into the store. They arrive for pickup, but I do not pick it up the same day. I let them assemble it, and then I bring back the computer fully assembled. I set it up and I power it on. Existing storage goes where it goes. You know the drill. Existing wireless LAN. 
sorry, existing wired LAN hard disks graphics RAM if applicable. Otherwise I gotta buy more RAM. And as for the RAM that I have, um, if it's not capable for that board, I would just fucking sell it. So that's the, that's one way to do it. Or I can ship it off to one of my dear friends out in Kingston. And he'll gladly take it. I don't care if I have to lose money. I don't expect him to pay for it. He's a good friend. Very, very good friend. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. This video's gonna be a bit too long. Okay. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And have a great day.